background in diplomacy, I knew some instructions would be coming. Without getting any instructions from Pakistan, I approached the Royal Court, which was not proper because normally you have to go through the Foreign Ministry to get an appointment uh, with the uh, King, you know. But I took the initiative and directly contacted the uh, court. The court said, Excellency, today is Thursday evening, tomorrow is Friday, it is off days, you know, weekend. And uh, at, as we all knew, uh, King Fahad was not in good health, so it will be difficult, you know, for to I receive you. I said, no, please convey my request. Let's see, you know, what is the answer. And uh, it worked because after one hour or so, I received a message that uh, His Majesty the King will receive you tomorrow. So this was an uh, unprecedented and ailing King meeting ambassador on a Friday when it is uh, off, you know, holidays. So next day, in, with, uh, in, uh, with great fanfare, with, uh, you know, uh, escorts, etc., I was taken to the palace, which was a bit away from Jeddah, some other place uh, on the coast. I was really stunned because it was all quiet. It was a holiday, no one except few people and lo and behold uh, uh, king of Saudi Arabia sitting there to receive Pakistani ambassador. His first words were, sorry I cannot get up because of my knee problem. No, it was very gracious of him. I mean no one expects the king to get up and receive but the very fact that he said so touched me and uh, uh, elevated in my estimation you know his Majesty King Fahad. By that time I had received the briefing instructions what I have to tell the, uh, His Majesty. The King very patiently listened to me and in a brief he said, Mr. Ambassador, we are against what you have done because we are members of non-proliferation treaty. Pakistan is not, even now, uh, which uh, prevents proliferation of nuclear weapons. But we know why you have done it. That we understand. And that's why we will support you more than what you expect of us. So I was really so much touched by the depth of uh, the friendly feelings, the brotherly feelings which Saudi Arabia exhibited at that time.